Segment 3, North Town Neighborhood News Magazine, and it is election season. Check us out on the web at www.ntnm.org. Uh, over 90,000 shows watched, community policing, caps24.org. And um, in, in any event, um, it is a pleasure now. As you know, we, we've, been, um, we've done all this stuff on, on the water wreck over the years. We spent a day down in the deep tunnel. We took a ride aboard PC1 down the North Shore Channel. Uh, those are actually two of our three most watched shows. And um, in any event, it is a pleasure to have somebody who's running for commissioner, actually somebody who's been appointed and is officially now a commissioner, right. appoint, appointed by this governor, not the previous governor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, is running for re-election in this case. And um, I'm sorry, I, how do you pronounce your first name? <laughs> Mariana. Mariana Spiropoulos. 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 I'm right. sorry about that. How That's are you? That's okay. <laughs> pleasure. Thank you for having me on the show. Okay. Anyway, um, so what, what, what interested you in Water Wreck? You ran for it a couple of years ago. Right. You came in fourth, fourth in a crowded field. Right. Um, well, my initial interest was due to uh, BP dumping in Lake Michigan um, in the fall or the late summer of 2007. And uh, I thought that agencies like the Water Reclamation District could take a greater role in terms of the environment, take a position on those kind of things, because we need to protect the environment and protect our water sources. So that's why I decided to get involved for Def public service. Yeah, definitely. Now, tell us about your background. Well, I'm, uh, I grew up on the south side in the Beverly neighborhood. Okay. And uh, I went to uh, Mother Macaulay High School. Okay. I went to Trinity College in Washington, D.C. Um, after that, I w moved to England for several years. I worked oh. for a bank doing research on uh, Eastern European economies where they were setting up businesses um, after the fall of the uh, the Iron Curtain, okay. which was very interesting. Um, I moved back to Chicago, Chicago to go to law school. I went to the John Marshall Law School. Yeah. And I worked as a prosecutor for several years, and I was a hearing officer for five years and finished my MBA, and I opened my own law office, and then I ran for public office. Very good. That was your first uh, try two years yes. ago? Yes, yeah. Okay, and I guess you did pretty good too. I well, I mm -hmm. came in fourth out of a, a race for the top three. So right, it was so. very exciting experience. But there were quite a few people in the field. <laughs> there were about eight candidates last time. So, yeah. I, I didn't count this time, but there's probably this a n number of candidates that I saw. Yes, um, we've just had filing of petitions, which is the first stage of, of uh, you know starting your campaign, and about twelve candidates have filed petitions. Yeah, and we'll see how many of them get knocked off. Exactly, <laughs> that's the next stage. <laughs> Yeah, as a matter of fact, I want to say hi to Jim Nelly, my favorite election lawyer, and uh, who's, uh, I guess, uh, that's, one of, that's one of the more interesting parts of uh, his job is, is being involved, defending, and um, I, I try to always take a look at who's, who's getting petition, who's getting other people's petitions to check them out. Right. Because that tells me who might be in danger, uh, among other things. So how do you go about campaigning for Water Wreck? <laughs> well, like you said, um, one of the first steps is to gather petitions. So for this particular race, it's always a percentage of the number of people that came out to uh, vote in the previous election. So we had to gather 7,900 and about 30, don't quote me on that number, but about 7,900 uh, signatures. Yeah. And you always try to get two or three times that amount to protect right. yourself from the challenge like you were talking about. Right. So um, we got 18,000 signatures, uh, and I don't think anyone's going to be challenging us. Um, and once you've passed the, the challenge stage, you just need to get out there into the community. The commissioners on the water rec are countywide, they're not by district, um, and you are basically representing everybody in Cook County, almost everybody in the Cook County area. So you need to go everywhere from Wheeling to Matson to Rich Township to Berwyn, you know, everywhere. And you just need to go to, to groups and present your position, your ideas and get the name out there. And basically for people who don't know uh, what the Water Reclamation District is, I mean one of the ways we put it in the PST is once you flush or it goes down the drain, um, it's, they go from there. That's right. <laughs> I think uh, Commissioner Majewski, who will be retiring um, yeah. after this cycle, she's not going to be running for re-election, um, and she's a wonderful lady. She had a... Um, yeah, she's been on the show. She <laughs> had a slogan, it was, think of us when you flush. <laughs> so I've been debating whether to use that. Obviously, it worked very well for her, but uh. well, that's, got, that's <laughs> going to be up to you in your own style. That's for absolutely sure. okay. So um, okay, so the petitions is a start because basically eighteen thousand people had to uh, sign the petition. So that's right. a start in terms of people getting to know, know your name. Do you, go, do you go out and find groups to speak to? Do you, do you uh, 
I mean, in, in my case, for instance, um, you know, a, a, a PR guy uh, gave me a call and told right. me about you. And uh, hi, Ed. How you doing? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I mean, that's another forum. Uh, you're basically trying to, to use different mediums to get the name out there. So you would try to do uh, mailers if you can. Yeah. Um, those are quite costly, but um, you know, some candidates choose to do that. You try to do uh, you know, radio, um, uh, billboards if you can, yeah. um, and as many you know, television shows if you, can, if you have the opportunity. Yeah. I mean, that's a great way to reach a wide variety of you know, audiences. But there's a lot of political events, uh, various wards and townships will yeah. have their meetings. You try to go there and meet you know, the people who would be passing your materials out. Um, and any other functions, um, a lot of ethnic communities, for example, will have their own endorsement sessions. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm Greek, you can tell from my last name. Uh, the Greek community has an endorsement session through the United Hellenic Voters. Uh, the Italian community has, you know, like a political alliance group, and any other community. Um, right. Yeah, we got them too. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, hopefully, I'll be as at as many of those as possible. Very good. Uh, how have you found being a commissioner? Is it what you thought it'd be? Yes, and more. Uh, okay. It's very, it's very interesting. Um, I ran as an outsider before, um, so you don't have the complete picture. Um, but as you know, a commissioner, a sitting commissioner now, the Water Reclamation District does uh, an incredible job. I mean, we can always do better, but um, under the leadership of Terry O'Brien, he, he runs a very um, fiscally conservative um, you know, ship. Um, so, of course, we have, um, you know, we know that uh, if, he, if he goes on to the Cook County Board, they'll be in good hands as well. Definitely. I'm, I'm, I, I happen to like Terry a lot. Terry's been a frequent guest on the show. And I still got to be fair because I've had all four can. I, I still think Dan, I, I'm going to get myself in trouble. I think Danny Davis will drop out of that. But I've had all four candidates if that's the case. So uh, I, I do my best to be fair. And they've all done high on Marty Levinson. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they all have, you know, their good qualities. So, you know, I. Uh, but in terms of, you know, my perspective on the Water Reclamation District, um, they, they do an incredible job. The commissioners are the political um, angle of the, the district. Um, most of the day-to-day -day operations are, are handled by engineers who do a, an excellent job. The sub infiltration plants throughout the county treat the wastewater. The deep tunnel project and reservoirs handle the flood water aspect. Um, and the commissioners are involved in um, approving budgets and policy. Um, that's basically their role. Um, and we recently ha have had the stormwater management ordinance um, come through, and that is up for public discussion. That's sort of like the hot you know, topic that we're looking at right now. Mm. There's going to be five public hearings throughout the county for people to voice their opinions on what they think uh, about the ordinance. The ordinance is trying to set standards and uh, various projects to alleviate flooding because a lot of communities are, are you know, facing that flooding. Um, issue. I think that that is due to the increase in um, violent storms um, in terms of the volume of rain that we're getting um, uh, in terms of short time periods, which we didn't have to deal with before when our infrastructure was set up. So th hopefully this ordinance will try to address some of those problems. Very good. If people want to contact your campaign? Yes. If they would like to contact the campaign, and we're happy to have everybody, you know, submit your ideas or get involved as a volunteer, it's www dot mariana m a r i y a n a the number four cleanwater dot com mariana four cleanwater dot com we want to thank you very much mariana Sparopoulos, I got it right. right this time? Absolutely. Took me a while. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you. I want to wish you good luck in the campaign. I thank want to you. thank all of you for joining us today on the Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. I want to thank my entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. Uh, check us on the web www.ntnm.org, communitypolicingcaps24.org. Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.